So as you can see, the boat's not here yet. Um, the kit is finished, but it's somewhere in Greece, in Athens, probably. The company who is going to deliver it is a bit weird. Um, so first they said they were not even going to be able to go into Berlin because the truck can't fit into the city, apparently. Um, and they said it's an 18 meter truck, so pretty big. But I convinced them the city should be big enough to, to go into and I sent them the address and they looked it up on, on Google Maps and so they are going to come here eventually. Um, but another thing is that they won't be able to unload the box from the truck. So that's what I have to do. I'm not really sure how to do that yet, but I guess I'm going to have to get a few people and then just carry it or something. We'll see. In the meantime, I've been shopping a little bit. I've got a few new clamps, which are easier to use than the ones I had before. So we'll see. Um, I got an adjustable square, which should make it easier to mark things, so I can adjust it. I also got a fire blanket for the workshop, a new shelf, and a water tank, because my workshop doesn't actually have water, so I need to bring it here. I also found this video on Facebook about a company who make surfboards and um, it included a link to another company that makes eco-friendly epoxy and that sounded pretty interesting to me. So I looked them up and I actually wrote them and they have epoxy for making boats but they were not really sure if they wanted to recommend it for the kind of boat I'm doing and so I bought five liters right now um, which I'm going to be using on the dinghy and also probably on the inside and on not so critical parts of the boat. So I don't really want to risk using that on the outside um, or on structural parts, but I think it's going to be fine for not so critical things.